Hi guys, welcome to IT Networking and how to download MS, MSI Pro Z790A Wi-Fi motherboard driver. So as it is search on the Google search for search box to first link which is www.msci.com this is the official website to open this tab. Slow down, select the driver and download. BIOS, firmwares, drivers. So first of all, driver. Select your operating system which is you using. First chipset, VGA means drivers, LAN driver, audio, and SATA and other. So one by one, system chipset. Okay, select this. Click to download. When it is completed to single click to open, open this folder that is the setup of chipset.exe, double click to open and click to run, then click to yes, next accept and install. then this, that is installing so try to download next onboard visual driver means display driver same click to download this is start almost it is size Now it is completed to single click to open. Open this folder and that is installations. That is the driver. Back and that is installation exe. To double click to launch and then click to run. Yes. Then click to install. Click setup. So that is a coming the error. That's why it's actually that motherboard is not in the system. So that's why it's coming. So no issue. You next next to install and then try to different audio driver so it is the same click to download wait few seconds so double click to open again open this folder and again run run this to set up then click to yes That is actually tools. This is tool here. So we have to download the universal driver. Again, we to download. Do not download this ones. This is actually audio tool for firmware update like this. Open this. Open the drivers. Find out setup. Yes. Then next, now this is audio driver is installing. No, I will restart my computer later to click and finish. Then LAN driver. This is Wi-Fi driver. This is Bluetooth driver. This is network LAN driver. So, guys, we have to download one by one. First, Wi Fi driver, click to download.
please complete so open the wi-fi driver now double click to open the folder so then uwd to open win64 install and done and this with this driver so double click to launch then next bluetooth driver click to download then open this folder again open that is a bluetooth driver next many dialogs then i already installed that version click to yes click to double and then click to next this is also installing so then install land driver Again, open, open this folder. This is land our AXE. Run. Yes. And here to show install. Click to install and close it. Then SATA. So that is the tools to download the repair. It is other. This is if required to download. Then driver and BIOS. Firmware also available. So that is the file firmware. So click to download and launch. We update the BIOS also. So this is BIOS. Click to download. This is the latest BIOS. So second step guys if your downloaded drivers is not installing so you can run forcefully how to so firstly open the file manage file explorer this PC so then go to download which is you downloaded the folder so this is all select okay, right click to copy and create a folder on the desktop and any locations and paste okay and then right click to extract here one by one extract all and same locations down uh, desktop driver select this and then extract it okay then second extract all choose desktop desktop drivers and select the folder and then extract So this is land driver, this is also land driver, this is ultra 10G and this is Bluetooth BT means Bluetooth drivers, chipset driver, network driver, Wi-Fi driver and audio driver and real dog audio drivers. And this is not required so I delete. So what is the next step? Right click to Windows button and then go to device manager okay 
and suppose you have to upgrade the LAN driver okay. so what is the LAN the network this is your LAN here to show the Wi-Fi so select to your Wi-Fi driver so right click upgrade browse locally browse and go to desktop desktop driver select this and that is not show because this is uh, not extract this is that's why it's not showing if you extract the show here select this drive and then next and next and then close so that is a display driver so as you one by one try require only display first second network okay and then chipset also their processor this is chipset and Wi-Fi also next audio driver okay and then restart finally it is installed thank you